Hey guys, it's Amy at Zoe Beck and I'm gonna do my reading stats for August 2021. So I have my trusty little sheet and so we will go through this. So in the month of August, I did finish uh, 15 things. Uh, six of them were physical, two were, or four were eBooks and two were audiobooks. And then I had three rereads and of those three, one was physical and two were audio. So that was kind of different. I don't usually, I mean, I have that many rereads often, but not, maybe not as many audio. Um, I did read um, eight volumes of manga during August. So that's kind of a high number for me, but I was really in the middle of a series and I'm, Kami can't communicate. So I'm catching up. So I'm almost near the end of where it's been published. So, oh well, at least it was fun. I read a lot in that much. I did DNF three books, but they're all kind of like maybes right now. I'm kind of unsure they're DNFs for now. So we'll, we'll see. I just said, we'll see what happens. Uh, so, um, I think I counted them. I counted them as DNFs, but as I said, I'm, I'm not, they're not forever DNFs yet. Not yet. Um, how many, um, how many books that were on my TBR did I read that I like set that these are the solid ones I'm going to read all six of the ones that I plan to read. I read so that's like probably the first time other than I think in July I had like three books. So like, I'm getting better at like actually doing the, the core ones that I want to do. So, um, I did do all six of those. Um, and then how many of the books that I read were physically from my shelf? So the six books that I read that were physical, five of them I owned, which is really good for me for average. And one was from the library. So for me, that's pretty good. Still, it's not as high a number as I'd like to be reading off my shelf, but I'm working on it. Um, and then I was currently reading um, six books as I crossed the month. And again, that counted those three maybe DNFs. So I would say three of them I was really actively reading. The other three were, are kind of on hold. So it's kind of a high number for me either way, three or six, but it's kind of how the, how, how it worked when the month crossed over. I did buy 18 books in July or no, August. What month am I in? Sorry. It was for August. Um, which again, I bought almost, I would say I bought two thirds of those in the last four days in the month. I did so well until the very end. And then things happened at work. It was just really stressful. And then, um, oh, I just, I have my jaw hurts so bad. Sorry guys. I don't know what I did. It just hurts. Uh, so it hurts to talk. Um, but, um, so I, I bought 18 books, which the cost per book is about $9 and 13 cents. Cause I bought a new lot of new books in the last couple of days. It's just how it went. Um, but okay, um, but I've not read any of those 18 books because again, I bought almost all of them at the end of the month. So um, that's not good. Usually I get at least one read, but no, I didn't even get, or, or there's a reread or something. I don't know, didn't get any read. Uh, page, number of pages was 4,246 pages that I read this month, um, which comes out to an average of 137. Again, my baseline is I wanna be 50 pages a day on average for the month. Anything over that is always, uh, always makes me happy. Over hundred is always my goal. Anything close to 150 is excellent. So 137 is a really good number for me. Um, uh, the p number of pages per book on average was 243 pages. So there were a few short novellas that I read. So that dropped down my number, even though I had a couple of medium good size books, but Anyway, so 243 is not really high. I like to be closer to the 300 range, but for average, but again, I'm reading a lot of novellas in the Kate Daniel series. Um, so this was a month that was a lot more closer on uh, what authors I read. I read five male authors and six female, and then I had four books that were considered multiple or trans or of that sort. So. It was a kind of a, a diverse month for me that way. Like it was not quite so skewed to the females. So that was kind of good. Um, I did read three translated books for women in translation. I was hoping to do more, but I just, I didn't get to that. Um, I read two POC authors and uh, my star ratings. I had one five star, seven, four stars and four, three stars. So, um, 
again, I have a tendency to DNF things before I get to a two or one star, but um, so three to five is pretty normal. But again, as I said, I mostly fours is <laughs> when I usually enjoy a book. So I, that's why the fours are always so high. The genres I hit this month, I had five urban fantasies, three um, nonfiction histories, one contemporary, one memoir, one adventure, one horror, and three science fiction. So it was kind of a different month for me. I don't, um, I don't know. It just, it felt really different, I guess. I don't know. I just, I just felt that way. Anyway, so um, the, my favorite book of the month is uh, the, the Kate Daniels books, one of the ones that we read. Um, for August, uh, Magic Slays is my favorite book so far in the series. It's book five. Um, this just, there were so much things in here that I just enjoyed. And again, the series is just getting better and better as everybody told me it would, because the first book is a little hard to get, or hard to see how good it'll get from the first book. But I really enjoyed this book. There's so many things that happened in here and things that have, that are, you know, coming from the other books. And I just, this was, again, one of my favorite books so far in the series that I've read. Again, we're, I'm continuing on, so we'll see if it gets replaced by one of the other books. But so far, this is the only one that's like hit five star. The book before this, um, was it Magic Bleeds? Number four, the one I read the month before. Yeah, Magic Bleeds was really close. It was like a 4.5. And again, I don't do half stars. I just meant in my head, I was like, it was close, but it wasn't quite there. This one, I it definitely finally made it. So that was my favorite book. So my least favorite book that I finished was out by Natsuo Kurino. Um, this is translated from the Japanese. Um, oh, gonna, I'm gonna, oh, Steven Snyder, that's right. So um, it just because it went in, it was not what I really expected. And also it was just, <laughs> it, was, it was just a weird book for uh, kind of thrillery um, commentary on the 90s in Japan. Um, I just, I think there's, a lot of interesting things in there. Um, it's funny that both of these were buddy reads. Sorry, the first one I, like, I buddy read this with Tia and all the books, and then I read this one with Maria and MH books. So um, that part, those parts were good, but this just was not my favorite of all the books that I read that I finished. I would say it was my least favorite. And then of my DNFs, the one that probably most likely I'm really on the fence about is She Who Became the Sun by Shelley Parker Chan. I... I, I just feel I've got 136 pages in and I just don't feel anything like it's just not it just I turned it back into the library because it was due but I just couldn't pick it up and I'm having this trouble recently with a lot of my books and I'm not sure why um, I'm getting to midway through or really good into a book and then I'm like I don't care anymore so that one I'm not sure if I'm ever going to come back to I have a reserve That'll probably come in in a couple of months on at the library for an audio, and we'll see if that'll help me get through it. But I don't know if I'm going to get back to that one. But I was so disappointed that I didn't like it that well. <laughs> but again, I think it's really because I was not connecting to the characters. I just didn't, uh, wasn't connecting for me. So we'll we'll see. Again, it's a fantasy. So yeah, I gotta give it one more try. Um, so my journal again, my book buying wasn't super bad. It was kind of in the mid range. Of course, this month will be, <laughs> or September is going to be way up here again, but it's okay. Yeah, I just, I buy a lot of books, I admit it. Um, so really quick, here's my little um, uh, pixel one. Um, when you see the early part of the um, the rainbow, like the yellows and the reds and the orange, they're the low numbers. And then um, I only had one day that I didn't read because of things <laughs> anyway, but mostly, um, I read pretty good and pretty good at the end of the month is where my higher numbers were, but it was a pretty good average month, which I'll show in a minute. Um, I, again, I said, I read really pretty good. Um, I, um, I could, I forgot, I should have marked this off last month is that I had crossed my 80 good, good reads. I mean, I'm not, it's not a goal, 80 books. My goal is 52. Um, and then I just, but I make a graph and make sure I make over 80, I guess. I don't know. And then this is my library, like of my reading. So these are the books off my shelf that I've read, either uh, um, physically or an ebook or an audio. I think audio is, yeah, audio is blue. So um, I'm, try, I'm not, I need to, you know, is that I want this to be much more, a lot bigger of stuff coming off my shelf, either on all those, on um, physically, 
ebook or audio. And then this is what I've gotten from the library this year that I've finished. So as I said, it's, I still get a lot from the library, but I need to make this the higher. <laughs> I'm not, I'm still working on that. Um, I don't think, um, series wise, I've really, Kate Daniels is the only one I'm still working on that this month. Um, I think, I don't think I added anything else for this month. So that was the only one. So there's not much addition to this one. And then real quick. So this is my reading for um, August, except that a fact that I messed up. So um, these days are all kind of switched around. I accidentally got offline of my numbers, of what I was drawing and I can't fix them. Anyway, so I just wrote in there what day they're actually supposed to be. So these are like all switched around, but it's about the same. It's all in there. So you can see like at the end of the month I did really, again, that was um, the weekend before Labor Day weekend. So I did really like, but I read a lot. You can see during the week, sometimes I drop off because work. Anyway, so that is that. I did want to show the board because I forgot last week that this is what my ending prompt board looks like. I had, again, my three rereads. I had one book that was over 500, one of those what rereads. <laughs> um, I had an ebook. Oh, I take back. I have two ebooks. Sorry, I did read one more at the end of the month. Um, and then I had some three non-fictions and then I had my three translated works. Um, yeah, I didn't have any classics this month. This this, And then my series, most of those are the Kate Daniels. <laughs> And then some other um, and things. And then again, my DNFs. These are DNFs for now. We'll we'll see what happens. But anyway, before I clear the board for September, because I forgot to do that last week, but I want to show that. So that is it. Those are my stats. Um, do you guys keep stats? Do you like these kind of videos? Um, how was your um, August? Did you get a lot of reading done? I did fairly well, even though I had a few disappointments and I'm still, my DNFs are kind of high, but we'll, we'll see what happens. Um, going forward. So anyway, um, let me know um, what how your reading went and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.